It starts here, high desert soil, the humble potato. Pulled from the earth, dirty, rough, and inconsistent, nature doesn't do uniform. They arrive by the truckload, a landslide of carbohydrates. First, we separate the food from the rocks. Gravity does the sorting. The wash, scrubbing off the field dirt. We need them clean. Steam peeling. We blast the skin off with pressure, not knives. The reveal, beneath the skin, pure white starch. Human eyes on the line. If it's green or black, it's out. Sliced, not for chips yet, but for cooking. Cooking, breaking down the cellular structure, making mash. Mashing, we turn the individual vegetable into a unified paste. Dehydration. We strip the water out to create a stable flake. The sheet peels off. Paper thin, bone dry. Milled into flour. This is the blank canvas for the stackable chip. Stored, ready to be reconstituted on demand. The reconstitution, flour, water, cornstarch, science in a bowl. It's not a batter, it's a stiff, dense dough, built for pressure. The drop, a thousand pounds of potential chips. The pre-sheeter, reducing the mountain reducing the mountain to a plateau. Stretching, thinning, compressing. We need absolute uniformity. The final gauge, thinner than a credit card. Moving at highway speeds. The rotary cutter, it doesn't stop, it stamps ovals on the fly. Clean cuts. No ragged edges allowed. The skeleton is lifted away. Only the perfect ovals remain. Nothing is wasted. The scrap goes back to the start to be reborn. Flat disks. They look boring now, but physics is about to take over. The handoff. The chip lands on the curve and takes its shape. The clamp. Held in place so it doesn't float away in the oil. Into the fryer. But this isn't a chaotic bath, it's a guided tour. Submerged. 11 seconds, that's all it takes. Uniform heat. Every molecule cooks at the exact same rate. They emerge. No longer dough. They are now structure. The blow off. We want crunch, not grease. The release. The chip is free, holding its shape perfectly. Rows of clones. You can't tell them apart. The seasoning. A cloud of flavor. Sour cream, onion, salt. Adhesion. The oil is still warm, grabbing the spice. Finished. But they are scattered. 
Now comes the impossible task, stacking them. The optical sorter. It sees burnt edges, cracks, and deformities at 60 miles an hour. Rejection. If it's not perfect, a blast of air shoots it into the waste bin. Lane guides. We herd the chips into distinct columns. Aerodynamics. The shape naturally wants to fly curve up. The air flips them for us. Physics does the heavy lifting. They orient themselves. Oriented. A marching army of parabolas. The stacking wheels. This is how we build a column. It catches the edge, slows it down, and lets the next one slide underneath. Shingling, overlapping, the stack begins to form. Compression, the belt slows and the shingles stand up. A horizontal log, hundreds of chips, touching but not crushing. Nesting, the curves must align perfectly or they break. Density check. If the stack is too loose, the can will be underfilled. The buffer. We can't stop the fryer, so we have to store the logs. The snap test. We measure the exact force needed to break the saddle. Salt analysis. Consistence is flavor. The logs move forward. An endless snake of snack food. The portioner. We slice the log into slugs, the exact amount for one can. Weight check. Too heavy, too light. The machine adjusts the cut. Transfer. Gentle fingers push the stack. Don't break a single one. The Bucket Brigade. High-speed transport to the canning room. Cleaning the flavor drum. We can't have sour cream mixing with BBQ. Reloading. A fresh charge of seasoning for the next batch. the life blood. The oil must remain pristine. Generating the atmosphere. We make our own nitrogen here. The circle closes. The scrap returns to the beginning. Symmetry. Four lines running in perfect unison. The robots do the heavy lifting, keeping the hoppers full. Mold maintenance. If the tension is off, the shape is wrong. Around the bend, the stack holds together. From below, a river of gold. Closing the gap. Maximizing throughput. One line left shape. Perfectly, perfectly, perfectly straight. straight. The vessels arrive. Empty tubes waiting for their cargo. Cleaning the tubes. A blast of air ensures they are sterile. Positioned, aligned, the stack is ready to go home. 
We don't just bake the chips here. We build the fortress they live in, the can. Spiral winding. Layers of paper and adhesive, creating a rigid spine. The foil liner. This isn't just decoration. It's the barrier against air and moisture. Adhesive. Bonding the layers into a single, strong composite. The endless tube, it grows continuously 24-7. The flying knife. It matches the speed of the tube and slices. Precision timing. An army of empty cylinders. Marching to meet the product. Flanging. We roll the edge to prepare it for the metal bottom. A hermetic seal. Physics keeps the freshness in. The merge. Two lines become one. Synchronization is critical. The insertion. A gentle slide. The stack enters its home. Clearance is measured in millimeters. Too tight, they break. Too loose, they rattle. Level check. We make sure the stack reaches the top. Short stack. Rejected. We don't sell air. The nitrogen tunnel. We displace the oxygen. The membrane, the seal of safety, locking in the nitrogen. Tout, sealed, time stops inside that can. The overcap, resealable for the snacker who takes a break. The gathering, a sea of cylinders. Fluid dynamics. The cans flow like water. The timestamp. We mark the moment of completion. Keep it clean. Dust is the enemy of the seal. Pressure holds steady. The atmosphere is controlled. Waste management. Every scrap of paper is collected. The twist. Gravity check. If the cap is loose, it falls. Right side up. Survivors proceed. The burst test. We push the seal until it pops. It has to be strong. Headspace analysis. Less than 2% oxygen. That's the rule. The glue kitchen. The secret recipe that holds the tube together. Hot melt. Preparing the adhesive for the final closure. Star wheels. Precise indexing. One by one. Color check. The red must be the right red. Brand identity matters. The integration hall. Where ingredients meet engineering. The unit is complete. The stack is safe. Now it prepares to leave. The star wheel. It grabs the cans with mechanical precision. Timing is everything. The cascade. Thousands of lids waiting to crown the stack. The snap. A friction fit. Resealable engineering. High cap check. If it's not seated level, the laser knows.
Rejection. We don't ship crooked hats. A forest of cylinders, moving as one fluid mass. Single file, order from chaos, bringing the herd back in line. The tattoo, date, time, line number, we trace it all. Invisible ink, proof of authenticity under the UV light. To spiral down, gravity is the cheapest motor we have. The robots run the floor. Autonomous supply lines. The nerve center. Monitoring efficiency to the decimal point. One last look inside. X-ray vision ensures purity. The divider. Dealing the cans out like a deck of cards. Parallel lines, synchronized, ready for the final gather. Lubrication. Friction is the enemy of speed. Grouping, we count them out. 12 soldiers to a squad. The gripper, suction cups ready to lift. Clean cups mean a strong grip. No dropped cans allowed. The counter doesn't stop. Thousands per hour. Bone dry. We ensure no moisture ruins the cardboard later. A symphony of automation. Every machine playing its part. The endless road, miles of belt, moving miles of food. Safety first. The kill switch is always within reach. Banking the turn. High speed cornering. Green light means go. Red light means hold. The logic never fails. The staging area. The final pause before they disappear into the dark. The face of the brand. Ready for the shelf. The drop packer. 12 cans, one box. Gravity does the work. Hot melt glue. The flaps close, sealed for transit. The final way in. If a single can is missing, this machine knows. Tagged, the logistics network now knows this box exists. The palletizer, building a tower of crunch, interlocking for stability. Wrap tight, secure, secure, ready for the road. Into the truck, the factory floor bids farewell. Miles of highway, bringing the stack to a store near you. The final destination. waiting for the pop, the shape, the snap, the taste, engineered perfection. It's a long way from the potato field to that tube, but that's what it takes to make the world's most aerodynamic snack. I'm Jack Reynolds, thanks for watching.